So today I talked about a P0008 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0008 code? Well, it's an engine position system performance bank one. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's sensors that's tracking the camshaft as it spins and the crankshaft as it spins. And it's reporting this information back to the computer. But when you get a P0008 code, and the computer's seeing that there's an issue with this information that's coming from these sensors, that it's off for some reason. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're going to have two banks. Bank one side of the engine is always going to be the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And so if you find the number one cylinder, that's going to be bank one. And then the opposite of that is going to be bank two. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0008 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low engine oil or dirty engine oil, or if the wrong oil was added in for some reason, that can also cause issues. So the first thing to do is go check your engine oil. Be sure that it's not low. Be sure it's not really super dirty. If engine oil was recently added in and now you're getting this code, then the wrong oil may have been used. But the first thing that could cause this is an issue with the engine oil. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad component inside the variable valve timing. And this is going to include things like the variable valve timing solenoid, or a bad actuator, sometimes called a phaser. And oil flows through all these components, and this is the reason why if the engine oil is low or really dirty, then it could cause issues. If the engine oil is really dirty, quite often there's these small screens inside of there and things like this, and these can get clogged up. It can vary. It can't depend on the engine. But this is very common when the engine oil is dirty, it clogs things up inside of there. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue going on inside the variable valve timing. The next thing that could cause this is a bad timing chain or timing belt. And basically what's going on with these is that all of these are going to have a timing mark. Everything needs to be correct. And if it's not for some reason, if one of these marks is off, for example, if this belt slipped and this mark was a little bit before or a little bit after, then that's going to throw everything off and that's going to cause issues. And that can cause a P0008 code. Another thing that happens with these timing belts or timing chains is that when they get a lot of miles on them, they get a lot of age, they can get stretched out and they're more looser than they should be. And this can throw everything off just a little bit. And that can cause problems. So if your belt or timing chain has a lot of miles on it, then that could be an issue. Also, there's going to be timing belt or timing chain tensioners. And these basically hold everything tight. And if there's some kind of issue with that tensioner and it's not holding everything tight, then that can also throw everything off. So the last thing on the list is going to be a bad timing belt, timing chain, or timing belt tensioner. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0008 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.